A terbium is a chemical element with symbol of and atomic number 70. It is the 14th and penultimate element in the lanthanide series, which is the basis of the relative stability of its plus 2 oxidation state. However, like the other lanthanides, its most common oxidation state is plus 3, seen in its oxide, halides and other compounds. In aqueous solution, like compounds of other late lanthanides, soluble ytterbium compounds form complexes with nine water molecules. Because of its closed shell electron configuration, its density and melting and boiling points differ from those of the other lanthanides. In 1878, the Swiss chemist Jean Charles Galissard de Marignac separated in the rare earth erbia another independent component, which he called ytterbia, for it to be the village in Sweden near where he found the new component of erbium. He suspected that ytterbia was a compound of a new element that he called ytterbium. In 1907, the new earth lutetia was separated from ytterbia, from which the element lutetium was extracted by Georges Urban, Karl Al von Welsbach, and Charles James. After some discussion, Marignoc's name ytterbium was retained. A relatively pure sample of the metal was obtained only in 1953. At present, ytterbium is mainly used as a dopant of stainless steel or active laser media, and less often as a gamma ray source. Natural ytterbium is a mixture of seven stable isotopes, which altogether are present at concentrations of three parts per million. This element is mined in China, the United States, Brazil, and India in form of the minerals manazite, miaxenit, and xenotime. The ytterbium concentration is low, because the element is found among many other rare earth elements. Moreover, it is among the least abundant ones. Once extracted and prepared, ytterbium is somewhat hazardous as an iron skin irritant. The metal is a fire and explosion hazard. Characteristics equals Physical properties equals, ytterbium is a soft, malleable and ductile chemical element that displays a bright silvery luster when in its pure form. It is a rare earth element, and it is readily attacked and dissolved by the strong mineral acids. It reacts slowly with cold water and it oxidizes slowly in air. Ytterbium has three allotropes labeled by the Greek letters alpha, beta and gamma. Their transformation temperatures are 13 a degree Celsius and 795 a degree Celsius, although the exact transformation temperature depends on the pressure and stress. The beta allotrope exists at room temperature, and it has a face-centered cubic crystal structure. The high temperature gamma allotrope has a body-centered cubic crystalline structure. The alpha allotrope has a hexagonal crystalline structure and is stable at low temperatures. Normally, the beta allotrope has a metallic electrical conductivity, but it becomes a semiconductor when exposed to a pressure of about 16,000 atmospheres. Its electrical resistivity increases 10 times upon compression to 39,000 atmospheres, but then drops to about 10% of its room temperature resistivity at about 40,000 atmospheres. In contrast with the other rare earth metals, which usually have antiferromagnetic and or ferromagnetic properties at low temperatures, ytterbium is paramagnetic at temperatures above 1.0 Kelvin. However, the alpha allotrope is diamagnetic. With a melting point of 824 a degree Celsius and a boiling point of 1196 a degree Celsius, ytterbium has the smallest liquid range of all the metals. Contrary to most other lanthanides, which have a close-packed hexagonal lattice, ytterbium crystallizes in the face-centered cubic structure. As a result, its density is significantly lower than, for example, those of the neighboring elements thulium and lutetium. The melting and boiling points of ytterbium are also significantly lower than those of thulium and lutetium. These properties stem from the closed-shell electron configuration of ytterbium, which causes only the two sixes electrons to be available for metallic bonding. Equals chemical properties equals, ytterbium metal tarnishes slowly in air. Finely dispersed ytterbium readily oxidizes in air and under oxygen. Mixtures of powdered ytterbium with polytetrafluoroethylene or hexachloroethane burn with a luminous emerald green flame. Ytterbium reacts with hydrogen to form various non-stoichiometric hydrides. Ytterbium dissolves slowly in water, but quickly in acids, liberating hydrogen gas. 
a terbium is quite electropositive, and it reacts slowly with cold water and quite quickly with hot water to form a terbium. 3. Hydroxide, 2 ab plus 6 hours 2 OA2 ab, OH, 3 plus 3 hours 2. A terbium reacts with all the halogens, 2 ab plus 3 F2 A2 ab F3, white, 2 ab plus 3 centiliters 2 A2 YBCL3, white, 2 ab plus 3 BO2 A2 YBBO3, white, 2 ab plus 3 I2 A2 ab I3, white, the terbium, 3, ion absorbs light in the near infrared range of wavelengths, but not in visible light, so the mineral Aterbia, ab 203 is white in color and the salts of Aterbium are also colorless. Aterbium dissolves readily in dilute sulfuric acid to form solutions that contain the colorless ab 3 ions, which exist as non-orhydrate complexes, 2 ab plus 3 hours 2 SO4 A2, ab, H2O, 9, 3 plus plus 3 SO2 A, 4 plus 3 hours 2, equals ab, 2, versus ab, 3, equals, although usually trivalent, a terbium readily forms divalent compounds. This behavior is unusual to most lanthanides, which almost exclusively form compounds with an oxidation state of plus 3. The plus 2 state has a valence electron configuration of 4F14 because the fully filled F shell gives more stability. The yellow-green a terbium, 2, Ion is a very strong reducing agent and decomposes water, releasing hydrogen gas, and thus only the colorless aterbium. 3. Ion occurs in aqueous solution. Samarium and thulium also behave this way in the plus 2 state, but europium, 2, is stable in aqueous solution. Aterbium metal behaves similarly to europium metal in the alkaline earth metals, dissolving in ammonia to form blue electride salts equals isotopes equals natural aterbium is composed of seven stable isotopes 168 ab 170 ab 171 ab 172 ab 173 ab 174 ab and 176 ib, with 174 ab being the most abundant isotope at 31.8 percent of the natural abundance 27 radioisotopes have been observed with the most stable ones being 169 up with a half-life of 32.0 days, 175 up with a half-life of 4.18 days, and 166 up with a half-life of 56.7 hours. All of its remaining radioactive isotopes have half-lives that are less than 2 hours and most of these have half-lives are less than 20 minutes. Aterbium also has 12 meter states, with the most stable being 169 mb. The isotopes of aterbium range in atomic weight from 147.9674 atomic mass unit for 148 Ib to 180.9562 U for 181 Ib. The primary decay mode of aterbium isotopes lighter than the most abundant stable isotope, 174 Ib, is electron capture, and the primary decay mode for those heavier than 174 Ib is beta decay. The primary decay products of aterbium isotopes lighter than 174 Ib are thulium isotopes, and the primary decay products of aterbium isotopes with heavier than 174 Ib are lutetium isotopes. Occurrence Aterbium is found with other rare earth elements in several rare minerals. It is most often recovered commercially from monazite sand. The element is also found in eoxenite and xenotime. The main mining areas are China, the United States, Brazil, India, Sri Lanka, and Australia. And reserves of aterbium are estimated as 1 million tons. Aterbium is normally difficult to separate from other rare earths, but ion exchange and solvent extraction techniques developed in the mid to late 20th century have simplified separation. Known compounds of aterbium are rare and have not yet been well characterized. The abundance of aterbium in the Earth's crust is about 3 mg per kilogram. As an even-numbered lanthanide, in accordance with the Otto Harkins rule, aterbium is significantly more abundant than its immediate neighbors, thulium and lutetium, which occur in the same concentrated levels of about 0.5% each. The world production of aterbium is only about 50 tons per year, reflecting the fact that aterbium has few commercial applications. Microscopic traces of aterbium are used as a dopant in the AB, YAG laser, 
a solid-state laser in which ytterbium is the element that undergoes stimulated emission of electromagnetic radiation. Production it is somewhat difficult to separate ytterbium from other lanthanides due to its similar properties. As a result, the process is somewhat long. First, minerals such as menazite or xenotime are dissolved into various acids, such as sulfuric acid. Ytterbium can then be separated from other lanthanides by ion exchange, as can other lanthanides. The solution is then applied to a resin, which different lanthanides bond to in different matters. This is then dissolved using complexing agents, and due to the different types of bonding exhibited by the different lanthanides, it is possible to isolate the compounds. Ytterbium is separated from other rare earths either by ion exchange or by reduction with sodium amalgam. In the latter method, a buffered acidic solution of trivalent rare earths is treated with molten sodium mercury alloy, which reduces and dissolves of 3 the alloy is treated with hydrochloric acid. The metal is extracted from the solution as oxalate and converted to oxide by heating. The oxide is reduced to metal by heating with lanthanum, aluminium, cerium or zirconium in high vacuum. The metal is purified by sublimation and collected over a condensed plate. Compounds The chemical behavior of ytterbium is similar to that of the rest of the lanthanides. Most ytterbium compounds are found in the plus 3 oxidation state and its salts in this oxidation state are nearly colorless. Like europium, samarium, and thulium, the trilolids of ytterbium can be reduced to the dilids by hydrogen, zinc dust, or by the addition of metallic ytterbium. The plus 2 oxidation state only occurs in solid compounds and reacts in some ways similarly to the alkaline earth metal compounds. For example, ytterbium, 2. Oxide showed the same structure as calcium oxide. Equals alids equals. Ytterbium forms both dilids and trilolids with the halogens fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. The dilids are susceptible to oxidation to the trilolids at room temperature and disproportionate to the trilolids and metallic ytterbium at high temperature, 3 abex 2 or 2 abex 3 plus ab. Some ytterbium halides are used as reagents in organic synthesis. For example, ytterbium, 3, chloride is a Lewis acid and can be used as a catalyst in the Aldol and Dielsa Euro Alder reactions. Ytterbium, 2, iodide may be used, like samarium, 2, iodide, as a reducing agent for coupling reactions. Ytterbium, 3, fluoride is used as an inert and non toxic tooth filling as it continuously releases fluoride ions, which are good for dental health. And is also a good X-ray contrast agent. Equals oxides equals ytterbium reacts with oxygen to form ytterbium three oxide, which crystallizes in the rare earth C-type sesquioxide structure, which is related to the fluorite structure with one quarter of the anions removed, leading to ytterbium atoms in two different six coordinate environments. Ytterbium three oxide can be reduced to ytterbium two. Oxide with elemental ytterbium, which crystallizes in the same structure as sodium chloride. History Ytterbium was discovered by the Swiss chemist Jean Charles Galissard de Marignoc in the year 1878. While examining samples of gadolinite, Marignoc found a new component in the earth then known as erbia, and he named it ytterbia, for Itterby, the Swedish village near where he found the new component of erbium. Marignoc suspected that ytterbia was a compound of a new element that he called ytterbium. In 1907, the French chemist Georges Urban separated Marignoc's ytterbia into two components, noiterbia and lutetia. Noiterbia would later become known as the element ytterbium, and lutetia would later be known as the element lutetium. The Austrian chemist Karl Auer von Welsbach independently isolated these elements from ytterbia at about the same time. But he called them aldebaranium and cassiaium. The American chemist Charles James also independently isolated these elements at about the same time. Urban and Wellsbach accused each other of publishing results based on the other party. The Commission on Atomic Mass, consisting of Frank Wigglesworth Clark, Wilhelm Ostwald, and Georges Urban, which was then responsible for the attribution of new element names, settled the dispute in 1909 by granting priority to Urban and adopting his names as official ones, 
based on the fact that the separation of lutetium from Maragnoxiterbium was first described by Urban. After Urban's names were recognized, Neuterbium was reverted to Aterbium. The chemical and physical properties of Aterbium could not be determined with any precision until 1953, when the first nearly pure Aterbium metal was produced by using ion exchange processes. The price of Aterbium was relatively stable between 1953 and 1998 at about 1,000 US dollars per kilogram. Applications Equals source of gamma rays equals the 169 ab isotope, which is created along with the short lived 175 ab isotope by neutron activation during the irradiation of Aterbium in nuclear reactors, has been used as a radiation source in portable X ray machines. Like X rays, the gamma rays emitted by the source pass through soft tissues of the body, but are blocked by bones and other dense materials. Thus, small 169 ab samples act like tiny X-ray machines useful for radiography of small objects. Experiments show that radiographs taken with a 169 ab source are roughly equivalent to those taken with X-rays having energies between 250 and 350 keV. 169 ab is also used in nuclear medicine equals world's most stable atomic clock equals a turbian clocks hold the record for stability with ticks stable to within less than two parts in one quintillion the clocks developed at the national institute of standards and technology rely on about 10,000 rare earth atoms cooled to 10 microkelvin and trapped in an optical lattice a euro a series of pancake shaped wells made of laser light Another laser that ticks 518 trillion times per second provokes a transition between two energy levels in the atoms. The large number of atoms is key to the clock's high stability. Equals doping of stainless steel equals, a terbium can also be used as a dopant to help improve the grain refinement, strength, and other mechanical properties of stainless steel. Some terbium alloys have rarely been used in dentistry. Equals a terbium as dopant of active media equals, the terbium plus 3 ion is used as a doping material in active laser media, specifically in solid state lasers and double clad fiber lasers. A terbium lasers are highly efficient, have long lifetimes, and can generate short pulses. A terbium can also easily be incorporated into the material used to make the laser. A terbium lasers commonly radiate in the 1.06 a euro 1.12 a micrometer band being optically pumped at wavelength 900 ma euro 1 a micrometer, dependently on the host and application. The small quantum defect makes a terbium a prospective dopant for efficient lasers and power scaling. The kinetic of excitations in a terbium dope materials is simple and can be described within the concept of effective cross sections. For most terbium dope laser materials, the McCumber relation holds, although the application to the terbium doped composite materials was under discussion. Usually, low concentrations of terbium are used. At high concentrations, the terbium dope materials show photodarkening or even a switch to broadband emission instead of efficient laser action. This effect may be related with not only overheating, but also with conditions of charge compensation at high concentrations of terbium ions. Much progress has been made in the power scaling lasers and amplifiers produced with terbium doped optical fibers. Power levels have increased from the 1 kW regimes due to the advancements in components as well as the abdoped fibers themselves. Fabrication of low NA Large mode area fibers enable achievement of near perfect beam qualities M2.